Computer Science K-12 is important because there's no reason that every student shouldn't have equal access to this. I like to design things. I want to invent like some robots. It's challenging. I just like to create things also. If it doesn't start in the early grades, then by the time they get to middle school or high school, they've already decided that's not for me. That's not my demographic. The kids who are in that class don't look like me. By creating opportunities that are part of the general education daily activities, we're really creating an opportunity for all students, for each and every child, to benefit uh, from the learning that can happen through computer science. Our computer science initiative is really grounded in equity and it's grounded in the idea of advancing equitable computer science access for all kids. That's fine. The point of this lesson is so that if you have difficulties that you think creatively and solve those problems together. I like that it teaches me like teamwork and stuff. And I get to something hard to just keep going instead of giving up. You know those fish deep under the water with the lights on their heads? Oh, yeah. Like that stick up from their heads? We're going to make that. Okay. And then we're also going to have a, shark, a 3D shark right here going after the school of fish. Little bits are circuitry that connect with magnets and allow students to use inputs things like buttons and dimmer switches. They're creating art that moves and lights up and is interactive. It's fun because it's like bringing the art to life. The more powerful part has been the collaboration, the communication, the growth in problem solving. Uh, we're seeing students look at solving problems in a different way than they, they did in the past. I'd like to see a little bit of what do you think your computer model is going to look like? How are you going to tell this story? I think what is really exciting about this is that students are creating the computer model to show their thinking, their understanding of how a phenomenon works. How could you control some of those variables? This kind of communication, this kind of language is foundational for, for students. Oh, and it doesn't allow you to choose two? Are you looking for two? When you give them the tools, they do really amazing creative things that we don't even know what they're going to do. Bellevue is focused on more than just exposing students. They've really focused on um, creating a pathway where students can learn and advance. Our students really are learning 21st century skills that is making up most of the job market in our society today. Today the kids are building a house on a program called SketchUp. We really had the idea of having like these separate roofs. That look and like then, ears. Yeah, and then we had like these um, circular windows that looked like eyes. Then we realized that, I thought, um, that we thought it looked like a kind of hat. Once the kids' houses are complete, we'll minimize them and then print them on the 3D printer. We're taking teachers that may not have a technology background and providing them training to become technologically advanced in the classroom to teach other students. And it's gone. Oh. You want to redo it yourself? Computer science isn't just about kids learning how to code. Computer science is about thinking and about students using critical thinking and logic and design to express their ideas. It changes once you get... It's really complex thinking for first graders, but they're absolutely capable of it, so why wouldn't we push them to do this great imaginative thinking? When individuals donate and support this work and advancing computer science, it's good for all kids in Bellevue. So what I'm super curious about is... It helps us even expand the field of computer science education. It's something that is now on the national agenda. And over the last year, Bellevue has really taken a leadership role in that conversation. It has a front step here, a window, chimney, and on the back, there's like a, a porch almost. I wouldn't be here today doing this project if I didn't have the foundation helping me get there, providing me those resources. So this is an audacious strategy. To realize this sort of vision really takes the support of the foundation and the community.